How's everyone doing? I'm doing great. You said here from Team TJ, and welcome back to Subnautica, where it's been a little while since the last episode, but I'm back, and I'm gonna try uploading Subnautica just a little bit more often, but I will also say this, it, a video will be uploaded later today, which will explain more about this, but I will just say this, I am going on a bit of a trip, um, uh, in a couple days, and I'll be gone for at most six days, so I promise I will be back. And once I'm back home, I will continue to make regular videos, so don't you worry. I just wanted to let you guys know that ahead of time. Now, last episode, we got close to making this, the prawn suit. Now, we only need enameled glass and two plus steel ingots, which isn't the worst, but it's still pretty bad. Because we need a lot of titanium, but thankfully I think we have a lot. We also need uh, a lot of lithium and stuff. I already have all the ingredients I need for the enameled glass, so there we go. Done. Easy. I got a lot of diamonds, so that's pretty good. We also got, I think, yeah, we got one lithium already, we just need one more, and a lot of titanium, so that's not a big deal. So I think we could probably get the prawn suit in this episode if we work towards it hard enough. So one of the first things I think I'm going to need to do is first off, I should probably um, grab some bladder fish, actually. Second off, getting my sea moth because I need to start using it more. The problem is it just feels a bit easier to just pull out the sea glide and start gliding around in the water. But I need to remember I have oxygen and I might run out of it if I just stay in the water too long. So I'm going to need to do this. I should probably also make the water now. Alright, into the sea moth. Now I primarily want to focus currently on just getting a bunch of titanium and at least one piece of lithium and uh, ooh, that might actually be a good place to do it I don't care about those stupid fish things that blow up those subnautica creepers basically is what I call them there's a lot of quartz down here but that's about it oh okay never mind there's something here okay and that's silver that's silver that's lead None of that was anything I actually needed. How do I get out of here? Okay, some metal salvage. That will be for titanium, so we're gonna grab that. How much of it can we carry right now? Uh, we can carry one more. That's gonna be a bit of an issue. Drop this fire extinguisher. It is empty. We don't need it. Alright, so that's a little bit more space. Alright, I think we should be good. I mean, metal salvage is everywhere, and all we need is one piece of lithium, and I think we'll be good. Now, I remember I found a lot of lithium at the GUN Island, and I don't really want to go back there at all, but if I have to, I will, but I'm going to have to take the Cyclops. It might actually be a good idea just to go grab the Cyclops quickly. You know, maybe a good place to try to find the lithium that we need is going to be over at Life Pod 12, because I do know that I think this is like the one Life Pod we still haven't gone to. So, might be a good idea to try to go towards it. It says sunk to the ocean bed. But I don't know how far down that actually means. Okay, I think this means like there's a hostile creature. It's probably just a bone shark or something, so I don't think it's anything to worry about. Even though this is kind of close to where Reaper Leviathans do live, I don't think they live in this particular biome, so I think we're good. I could be wrong. Okay, I see the life pod. I don't think this is gonna help us get l any lithium. These nuts. Oh, there's bone shark right there. Okay, um, yeah, there, there it is. It is right there. Ah. Okay, so apparently this is actually below the sea moth's crush depth. So we're gonna have to go out here with the sea glide. This is gonna be rough, but doable. Okay, I got that, and get the data box. Okay, repulsion cannon. Okay, so we managed to survive that. Now, I want to actually see this. Actually, hold on, the blueprints, right. 
The Repulsion Cannon. Alright, okay, that could be interesting. Okay, so, the Life Pod 12 Log. Let's listen to this. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll drink water as well. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, so I think that guy ended up infected with the Karar. So, yeah, that sucks. But seriously, I'm just gonna say it right now. I mean, it's kind of his own fault that he couldn't figure out a cure for it because he cheated the medical exams. Dude, don't, don't cheat. Okay, so we're back basically at home. Now, I want to figure out, because I know we took a scan of it once. Okay, so shale outcrops it does have lithium in it. Oh. Okay, but the problem is those are in either deeper biomes or they're at the GUN island and I don't want to go back there because of the Reaper Leviathans. You can't make me, but I'll probably have to anyway. Okay, so I'm close to the GUN island again, but that also means there's a Reaper Leviathan nearby. But I am, I'm rigged for silent running right now, so I think... I think I should be good. I don't care if it drains my power more. I just want to be safe. I already saved before I left, so if this goes wry, I can just boot up that old save file. Like, I don't- I can just leave without saving. So, that's fine. Okay, where is the island? There is the island. Okay, we're- we're getting close. And I know that this is where lead- no, not lead. Lithium. This is where we can find some lithium. I think this is also where the outcroppings for it can be found as well. So let's just hope that we can do this. Okay, we're back at the GUN island, and I think I know where I found a bunch of lead before. It was just kind of a little bit up there somewhere, so I'm gonna have to try to find my way back up there. Another purple tablet, I'll take it. Okay, so this is one of the outcroppings that might house lead. That might have, and it's gold, it's not lithium. Darn it. Okay, there's some lithium. We got it. Okay, that is the hard part down. Nice. Okay, so we are basically good. I just need to get find my way back now. And I'm not taking that because I know that connects to the floating island, I believe, and... That's still pretty much a distance away from home. And there's also Reaper Leviathan near there, too. I just heard a Reaper. Calorie intake recommended. Okay, fine. I'll eat later. Okay. Let's get out of here. Away from the Reaper. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm keeping an eye on that right there, because... This actually keeps me, like, it gives me a little marker of hostile creatures and their where bounces. So if the Reaper Leviathan gets close, then it'll alert me. So that's good. But I'll probably see it long before that picks it up. Okay. Okay, I managed to get away safely from the Reaper Leviathan. We have the lithium, we have lead, we have aerogel, we have enameled glass, we have diamonds. All we need is a bunch more titanium. We can make the prawn suit today. Bruh. Okay. Okay, so using the cameras, I'm finding more of the metal salvage so I can get some more titanium. <laughs> 
guys, I discovered that I actually needed two lithium per plasteel ingot, and I only grabbed one lithium and I had one already on me, so I had to go all the way back over there, grab two more lithium. It was a little annoying, but we're, we got back all in one piece. Everything's good. And the Reaper of Leviathan still has not attacked me, which is actually amazing. And while I was away, oh yeah, it's detected a lot of metal salvage. Okay, so this camera... Okay, there's the metal salvage right there, actually right next to where it was. And this camera can go right back home because I don't actually think we need any more metal salvage, even though there is a lot around. We don't need too much more. All right, we should be good to make the last plus steel ingot, I think. Yes, okay. Thank goodness. I love these lantern fruit trees. All right, so let's go over to the vehicle builder and make ourselves the prawn suit. Finally. Took this took me so long. And yes, prawn suit. Build it. Uh -huh. Your prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self-discipline. Um, okay, but, oh yes, look at that. Okay, like, this is a mech suit. This is so cool. Let's get into it. Okay, yeah, and, oh. Okay, so space bar is thrust. And... Okay, so... Oh, what did I just do? Um... I-I just killed this fish. And I just grabbed it as well, hold on. Yes, there's storage on the back, and it picks the- Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that-that's cool. Um, I'll drop it, though. And it'll just float away to the surface. It's crush step is 900 meters. What? That's crazy. And I don't think this thing takes fall damage. Okay, let's get the sea moth out of here. Because I want to see what it looks like docked. Okay, here we go. And it's docked. So what does it look like while it, the prawn zoo is docked? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not bad. So, yes, guys, success in getting the prawn suit. So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Subnautica. I had a lot of fun this time. We got the prawn suit, finally. That color seems kind of fitting for the prawn suit. Let's go with that. But yeah, guys, again, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Subnautica. Please do leave a big fat thumbs up, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also, if this happens to be the first video that you have seen by me, then please do consider subscribing to join Team TJ today for awesome gameplay videos and other amazing content like this. Again, apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Tiny 26 out, goodbye guys!